वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो फॉर यूवी एनालिसिस ऑफ मल्टी कॉम्पोनेट सैंपल्स इन अर्लियर वीडियो वी हैव सीन थ्री मेथड्स ऑफ मल्टी कॉम्पोनेंट एनालिसिस बाय यूवी स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट दिस फोर्थ मेथड द नेम ऑफ फोर्थ मेथड इज साइमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन मेथड एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अर्लियर ऑल्सो मल्टी कॉम्पोनेंट एनालिसिस what are the challenges in multi component analysis the challenges as you can very clearly see in the graph also this is the uv spectrum of drug x drug y and a mixture in which both the drugs are present together okay you can see lambda 1 lambda 2 which are the lambda max of drug x and drug y respectively these dotted lambda max which we see both the drugs they interfere with each other at their lambda max means what means both the drugs they give absorbance at each other's lambda max they give absorbance at each other's lambda max and therefore the absorbance at lambda max of any particular drug cannot be directly substituted in beer lambert's equation that is a is equal to abc because that capital a has contribution of both the drugs okay this is the challenge in multi component analysis and in this method in simultaneous equation method we will not be separating two drugs physical separation is not there both the drugs will be there in the final dilution of the sample in presence of both of them how mathematically we will be uh calculating content of each drug at a time that we are learning in simultaneous equation method now the dotted lambda lambda 1 and lambda 2 which are shown those are the wavelengths at which we take or we measure absorbance of the sample now here we see clearly that these dotted lines these dotted wavelengths are nothing but lambda max of both the drugs so in simultaneous equation method you have to remember that measurement of the sample is done at lambda max of both the drugs present in the sample so this particular spectrum i have taken from the reference which is given below you can see this lambda 1 for x is the lambda max and lambda 2 is the lambda max of y let us move further the information which is required for simultaneously determining content of both the drugs is the absorptivity values and absorbance now absorptivity of drug x and absorptivity of drug y can be calculated using standard solution of x standard solution of y and determining their absorbance at both the wavelengths that is the lambda max of both the drugs that will give us absorptivity of drug x at first wavelength and absorptivity of drug at at second wavelength similarly absorptivity of drug y can be calculated using the standard solution of drug y standard solution means solution which we have made out of the pure drug we should have available with us pure x and pure y okay now the standard solution we are preparing its known concentration so we know c we will be measuring its absorbance at both the wavelengths that is at lambda 1 and lambda 2 so we have absorbance values at two wavelengths and so we have capital a we know the concentration so we can easily find out absorptivity of drug y also at first wavelength and absorptivity of drug y at second wavelength okay so simple a is equal to abc is going to help us to determine or to calculate absorptivity of both the drug at both the wavelength values now now the sample comes into the picture the absorbance of sample we have to measure at both the wavelengths that is the lambda max of both the drugs so we will get capital a1 that is absorbance of sample at first wavelength and absorbance of sample that is a2 that is absorbance of sample at second wavelength 
so you can see here the equation 1 and 2 is obtained equation 1 is capital a1 is the absorbance of sample at first wavelength that is lambda 1 okay and that is because of drug x as well as drug y and capital a2 that is the absorbance of sample at second wavelength which is also because of drug x and drug y okay now this a1 and a2 equations that is equation number 1 and 2 they are rearranged and the direct formula is been found out for calculation of cx and cy so it is just the rearrangement of these two equations equation number 1 and equation number 2 to understand more about equation number 1 and 2 how these two equations basically have been formed the next slide will help you but you have to remember once we form equation number 1 and equation number 2 we have to rearrange them to or to find the formula of cx and cy so we will directly be substituting these values that is absorbance value and uh, absorptivity values for both the drug at both the wavelengths we will be substituting it in the formula and we will be able to calculate Cx and Cy. So, if this is the sample in which both the drugs are present, two drugs are present, drug X and drug Y. Drug X has its own lambda max, whereas drug Y, it also has its own lambda max. Since structure of both the drugs are quite different, okay, the structures of both the drugs are different, so of course their lambda max values will be different. So let us denote lambda max of drug X as lambda 1 and lambda max of drug Y as lambda 2. So this 1 and 2 numbers, they refer to wavelength, right? Now next, this sample, this which is the final dilution of the sample, this sample will be then poured in the cuvette that is sample holder. The sample holder will be kept in UV spectrophotometer and then we will measure absorbance of the sample at lambda 1 and absorbance of the sample at lambda 2. Now of course both the absorbance values will be different because the wavelength of measurement is different. Therefore let us denote absorbance of sample at lambda 1 as A1 and absorbance of sample at lambda 2 as A2. So according to Beer-Lambert's law, absorbance is equal to ABC, but this ABC is contribution of both the drugs. So ABC of X as well as ABC of Y. Similarly, the second absorbance which we have got at the second wavelength, that is because of the both the drugs which are present in the sample. So ABC of drug X plus ABC of drug Y. But these all four absorbances which you see, these are these, these four absorptivity values which we see, these four absorptivity values are not same. Why? because the wavelength of measurement is changed and the drug is also changed as wavelength changes absorptivity changes of course and that as drug changes absorptivity will change and therefore <coughs> it becomes abc of x to be very precise abc of y to be very precise similarly at second wavelength also abc for x and ABC for Y. So this is how we reached to the first and second equation which we have seen in the earlier slide. So these two equations will be rearranged in terms of CX and CY and we will directly substitute our absorptivity and absorbance values to calculate the concentration of both the drugs in the sample without physically separating them.
Now let us understand the fifth method, which is absorbance ratio method. In this method, which is the modification of simultaneous equation method, it depends on the property that for a substance which obeys Beer's law at all wavelengths, the ratio of absorbances at any two wavelengths is a constant value independent of concentration or path length. For example, two different dilutions of the same substance give the same absorbance ratio and is referred as a Q value. So we can clearly see in this figure which is the absorb absorption spectra of two different concentrations of a substance. Okay, so this if you see this is the spectrum with low concentration and this is the spectrum with higher concentration hmm? so as it is mentioned in this point two different dilutions of the same substance give the same absorbance ratio and which is referred as q value this also i have taken from the reference which is mentioned below now here we see the similar, the same formulation, in fact, that is the mixture of X and Y, which we have just now seen, which we have just now studied in some simultaneous equation method. Okay, the same spectrum it is. The spectrum of X and the spectrum of Y, where we see their lambda max is interfering with each other means, in other words, both the drugs give absorption or absorbance at each other's lambda max. Now, if we compare this particular figure or this particular spectrum with the spectrum which we have seen in simultaneous equation method, what is the difference? The difference lies in lambda 1 and lambda 2. This spectrum we are seeing in absorbance ratio method and this spectrum in simultaneous equation method okay please make a note that both the spectrum are same because it is the same drug same two drugs which we are studying okay mixture is same in which these two drugs are present but why we are comparing it because you have to remember that the wavelength of measurement in both the methods is different that is the only difference between the two methods that wavelength of measurement is different now see lambda 1, lambda 2 which are the lambda max of both the drugs. So the measurement of the sample was done at lambda max of both the drugs in case of simultaneous equation method. And here this lambda 1 and this lambda 2 among these only lambda 2 is the lambda max and the lambda 1 is the isoabsorptive wavelength which is also called as isospecific point. It is a wavelength at which both the drugs give same absorbance. See, here you can see. This is a point at which both the drugs give same absorbance. In other words, both the drugs have same absorptivity. So, in case of absorption ratio method, you have to remember that which two wavelengths are to be uh, taken for the uh, measurement of the sample for determining both the drugs in the sample. The first wavelength is isoabsorptive wavelength and the second wavelength could be any one of the lambda max. It could be any one of the lambda max, not necessary lambda max of the Y only. Okay, It could be any one of the lambda max and the first wavelength was the isoabsorptive wavelength. So let us see on this side the first equation which we have seen on the earlier slide the first equation they have made the modification here ax1 and ax1 at both the places here it was ay1 earlier but why they have taken ax1 at both the places because absorptivity is same at first wavelength Therefore, AX1 and AX1. So, AY1 was replaced with AX1. Then, as the name of the method is absorbance ratio method, ratio of the absorbance is taken. 
then with all these modifications with all these rearrangements they have reached the derivation has reached till this point where fx is qm minus qy divided by qx minus qy now this qx is the ratio of absorptivities of drug x at both the wavelengths similarly qy is the ratio of absorptivities of y at both the wavelengths whereas qm is the ratio of absorbances so after all these modifications this affects hmm? after all these modifications the final formula of cx is found out hmm? again this this is what this is our equation number 1 where ax they have taken common and they have just rearranged the equation that rearranged part and fx that rearranged part they have substituted in fx and cx is calculated so we can have or uh, we will get all the absorbance values absorptivity values we will directly substitute in the formula this whatever cx you get that you can substitute here and you will get cy also so this cx and cy that is the concentration of drug x and drug y in the final dilution can be calculated very easily after that the back calculation will be done according to the dilutions which are made uh, as per the procedure okay so that's it about uh, both the methods equation number 7 this gives the concentration of x in terms of absorbance ratios the absorbance of the mixture and absorptivity of the compound at isoabsorptive wavelength accurate dilutions are very important accurate dilutions of the sample and standard solutions are necessary for accurate measurements of absorbance and absorptivity values this method has been used for the assay of sodium benzoate and caffeine injection and also of course assay of trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole these are just the two examples but the method has been used in many uh, drug combinations okay the first uh, combination that is sodium benzoate and caffeine injection that we will be learning during our practical also thank you for your patient listening Do not forget to watch the next videos for difference absorbance spectrophotometry and derivative spectrophotometry. Thank you again and have a nice time.